during the last video there was a segment about the cannon and this video is about that segment number one do not stand directly in front of a cannon Uh, a little styrene, a, light, a gas gauge from a lighter, and then we're gonna throw that in the side here. This um, gun, and then we'll take this, put it on there like that, and then this one goes in here. So I'll just uh, glue that together, and then. Um, I'll have something that I can like, hang off the top there in the, so it'll swivel and pivot. So, um, it's close. And yeah, see, this is why this was such a contender because those things fit in there coincidentally. It ain't right on, but I'm sure if I fill it up with enough crap, it'll stick. Whatever I do with this, it has to rotate. So. That going right through there is a bit of a problem, so. So there needs to be a ring that fits in there. Well, no, a plate should go on the outside of it. Is this gonna, ooh, whoa, how about this one? How's this? That is really close. Yeah, okay, so we want this, we need to go like that. We'll take this. Take my bits off the belt sander. So Feds, I've been uh, grinding away at this uh, gun back here. I'm trying to open up this base. Kind of going sideways with it here. This section off here. So I'm just going to go level and flat. Sweet. Mm. 
So I'm still using the same parts, I'm just putting them together in a different configuration. These things again, they cover, cover them quite nicely and I just need something to go through there and then hang from here. And more gap filler, because gap filler. Oh, here it is. A slimmer profile. So you know what might help is if I put an axle in here, maybe hold these two things together. I got this piece of should that fit? Should that go through? Okay, well 
doesn't go all the way through. Sits in there a little bit easier. Yeah, that can be just right. Now, you guessed it. So I'm eyeballing it. It looks pretty straight. Might regret doing this later. Feds, you can see we are on an EVA mission here on this scorched earth planet, and I'm going to be spraying the gun. And you guys don't know this yet, but I already ripped this off of the ship because it looks comically large. It doesn't look like it should be on there. It's too big to belong on anything at the scale of the princess. So we're going to save it for another ship but we're going to paint it all the same. Come along with me, won't you? Okay, Feds. Cannon. Can. Can. Motorola. Still... Killing it in the camera department. Greetings, Feds. Uh, we've got the cannon painted, and uh, it was on, like I said before, it, it was on the bottom of the princess here, but I mean, the hotels are in here. They're multi story hotels. This doesn't belong on here. And obviously, it just looks like out of place. Um, and uh, thanks to BBB for pointing that out because after I got done looking at it, I'm like, this isn't even, this doesn't even make sense in a Dr. Seuss book. So um, some of the things you didn't get a chance to see me do was, you know, glue this thing on here, glue those things on there, you know, go hunting around for things and just, you know, throwing them on there. So um, this is it. We're going to put a wash on it. So let me get my paint out. I'm going to see if I can just do something real quick. Now this is an oil wash. Um, the jar is from Hobby Town. It's just an empty jar. Um, but this is a, uh, well, first of all, it's from Hobby Town. The Hobby Town near me, it's very close to me uh, in Kennesaw here. It has a gigantic Gundam in it. It's, I, I don't know if it's, 400 pounds because I know it's not $400 but the things mostly would and it's this thing um, but it's about as big as a well, it's, it's about as big as a person a small person not a little person but a small person anyway um, this is some pigment and some turpin turpenoid and so that's a wash we're gonna please allow me to interrupt myself a wash in this case is an oil-based paint with a lot of turpenoid or turpentine without the odor and it's meant to creep into all the corners and kind of bring out the detail by increasing the shadows that would be in the corners otherwise known as ambient occlusion so it makes things easier to see throw some black on here let's see We've got the lid I'm gonna be kind of careful, especially since I'm trying to look at what I'm doing in the camera. 
and I shouldn't. Might make that something different. So I had it on pause the whole time. I um, thinned out some of the paint so it, you know, goes places on its own. So I think I ground through or sanded through a little hole back here so it helps to have the black so I can hide the shadows instead of hiding in the shadows. Spread it out. Whoa, here we go. I just, uh, I am enjoying my new phone even though it does seem to be as lethargic as the other one used to be. Except, um, and I also found out that it's not 5G, but I'm not even sure that matters. I'm gonna see if I can get this uh, zoom here to kind of maybe paint this rail. Okay, man, I cannot stand this. And the power button is in the worst spot. Right now, this is my my best brush. It is also a, well, it's from China, but um, I got it at Hobby Town, Kennesaw. And uh, this little tiny thing, remember these? If I'm just working for like a little drop like that, that's nice because that'll dry off and I can just peel it off later. Let's see if we can make some magic happen here. I'm just gonna tag a couple of places. The front here has a nice rim. Hey, Oh, come on. There we go. That's the sweet spot. Hope it stays in focus. Now this is a uh, <clears throat> dark steel mecha color. It's not gonna look, let's go sideways. So we can turn this brush into a squeegee. <sighs> I'm like resting my wrist on the leg of the camera stand. While I'm hoping that it's filming in, in focus because I don't think it is. These are gonna go on the princess later after we're done with this commercial. Does that help having all this other action out of the way? Can you see what I'm doing? I didn't think so. Let's see, let's turn me this way. So here's the, uh, here's the gun. You know what? I think those lights are actually doing me a disservice. I wonder if I should just uh, work with these. I'm guessing I'm going to try and hit these keys with red.
So, this, as they say, is good enough for government work. I sure hope you enjoyed this episode of Kitbash Federation, and that you will do me the honor of liking, subscribing, and sharing this channel with your friends, co-workers, cohorts, comrades, and colleagues. From all of us here, to all of you feds out there, this is the Dry Dock, signing off. <laughs>